Bangladeshi ship hijacked in Indian Ocean. Primary and secondary schools to remain open in Ramadan. Dage expiry farm seized from Narangganj. Experts fear dinghy onslaught before monsoon. Those were the headlines. This is 18 News. Good evening, viewers. This is Salim Kadir with English Bulletin. A Bangladeshi flagship, MV Abdullah, has been hijacked. Pirates in Indian Ocean on its way, United Arab Emirates, with call from Mozambique of Africa. The ship MV Abdullah is owned by KSRM Grip. There are 23 sailors on board. Captain of the ship is Abdul Rashid. The owner of the ship, BSRM Grip, got the news of hijack on Tuesday afternoon. The 190-meter long ship was built in 2016. Holy month of Ramadan that brings bounty of blessings, pardon and emancipation from the Almighty Allah begins. Today was the first day of Ramadan in Bangladesh. Muslim devotees across the country started dawn to dusk fasting, eating sehri, midnight meal. The Tarawih prayer started on Monday night soon after sighting of Ramadan moon. The Muslim devotees across the country would spend the month with prayers. Great Prophet Muhammad وسلم, has divided whole month into three phases. First ten days are known as the days of Rahmat, that means boundless blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Second ten days, Maghfirat, the days of seeking pardon of the Almighty Allah. And the last ten days, Nazat, seeking refuge from the hellfire. The Muslim devotees will seek self-rectification and spiritual elevation by shining food and drinks from dawn to dusk with complete submission to Almighty Allah. The Appellate Division has ordered to keep the primary schools open up to 10th of Ramadan and secondary schools up to 15th of Ramadan, staying High Court order that asked to keep all schools closed from 1st of Ramadan. An appellate division bench headed by Chief Justice Ubaidul Hassan issued the order Tuesday after hearing on the issue. In the hearing, Attorney General A.M. Aminuddin said, it is the policy of the government to keep the schools open. High Court cannot interfere in it. The lawyer of the writ petitioner said, all educational institutions had remained closed in the time of COVID pandemic, so there will be no harm if the schools remain closed for 10 to 15 days in Ramadan. Finally, the appellate division gave the verdict of keeping the primary schools open up to 10th of Ramadan and secondary schools up to 15th of Ramadan respectively, overturning High Court order of keeping them closed from the first day of Ramadan. Directorate of National Consumer Rights Protection has seized 31 metric tons of date expiry date palm worth Dhaka 49 lakh. Assistant Director of Dhaka Metropolitan of the Directorate of Consumer Rights Protection, Abdus Salam, said they have the consignment of date expiry date palm from two firms in Kashpur of Narangganj. One of the two firms had been selling date palm that had expiry date of up to 2021. They were selling it by giving fake sticker. Commerce Ministry has fixed the price of date palm that common people eat in Ramadan. 
State Minister for Commerce, Ahsan al-Islam Titu, made the disclosure at the briefing on Tuesday. He said the ministry has sent a letter in this regard asking the people concerned to keep minimum price of date palm within Taka 200 to 250 for common people. He said there is no shortage of daily commodities in the markets including sugar and lentils. The High Court has issued an order seeking clarification why the raid at different hotels and restaurants that is one kind of harassment will not be termed as illegal. A High Court bench of Justice Mustafa Zaman Islam and Justice Atabullah issued the order on Tuesday. The court in its ruling said why the restaurants running the business maintaining regulations will not be allowed to do so. The High Court issued the rules settling a writ filed on Monday by Restaurant Owners Association that sought halt to raid to hotel restaurants that they termed as harassment. Different agencies of the government started raiding the hotels and restaurants of the capital after the devastating blaze at Green Cozy restaurants in Capitals Bailey Road that took away 46 lives. The country might see dengue onslaught much before the rainy season this year. Public health experts have warned several hospitals in the capital are already experiencing increased number of dengue patients. Experts said Dhaka will be in red zone this year as well. However, they said dengue cases will go up in several other districts. We now follow up with a short break and we will be back soon with Countrywide road crashes leave seven dead. Israeli attack kills nine in Gaza. You're watching 18 News. This is Salim Kadir with English Bulletin. Nine people have been killed in separate road mishaps in different parts of the country, including four people in Kumilla. Four people got killed after a fish laden lorry overturned in Eloid Gonj of Kumilla. Three other people were hurt in the mishap. The fish laden lorry from Noakhali to Dhaka overturned after ramming a lorry in a light gunch of Dhaka Chattogram Highway at dawn Tuesday. Four people were severely injured after the fishes on the truck fell upon them. They died on the way to hospital. Besides, five other people got killed in separate road crashes in Rajbari, Shariatpur, Jashore and Sri Mangal. BGB has intensified patrol due to fresh unrest on Janjari and Ashtorali border of Naikonjari of Bandarban. UP member Sabir Hussain, who sustained bullet wound due to firing from Myanmar, has been admitted to Chattogram Medical Hospital. Common people are being banned from going to border areas. Meanwhile, 179 members of Myanmar Border Guard Police, including two interpreters, have taken refuge to Bangladesh crossing through Janjari border on Monday. Later, BGB troopers brought them to Naikonjari Battalion after disarming them. They have been kept at Border Guard School. However, it could not be known when they will be sent back. We now begin with news from around the world. At least nine people were killed when Israeli forces targeted aid seekers in Gaza again. More than 20 others were injured. Meanwhile, Palestinian Health Ministry said the malnutrition and dehydration death toll in Gaza now stands at 27. Palestinian official news agency reported Israeli army dropped bombs a 
and opened fire on Palestinians waiting for aid trucks in Gaza at dawn on Tuesday. Meanwhile, Gaza Health Ministry said 2,000 medical workers in the north face famine. WHO chief said an aid mission managed to reach Al Shifa Hospital in northern Gaza. Nine people were killed and two others injured after a building collapsed in Multan, Pakistan. Among the dead, there were five individuals of a family. The incident occurred in the Mohalla Jawardeen area near Haram Gate. Regional police officer Multan said a three-story building collapsed on top of another falling a gas cylinder explosion. Injured persons were receiving treatment at Nishtar Hospital. As per initial report, the roof of the building collapsed onto the mud house below, trapping residents under the debris. Bodies and injured were rescued from the rubble following a five-hour operation. Multan Deputy Commissioner DC ordered an inquiry into the unfortunate incident. Technical team has been formed for the physical inspection of surrounding buildings. Inquiry committee will conduct a detailed review of the causes and damages of the incident. Before ending the bulletin, the top stories once again. Bangladeshi ship hijacked in Indian Ocean. Primary and secondary schools to remain open in Ramadan. Date expiry palm seized from Narangganj. Experts fear dengue onslaught before monsoon. Countrywide road crashes leave seven dead. An Israeli attack kills nine in Gaza. That's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for being with us. Until then, see you soon.